My name is Ronald Preston. I'm a long life resident of Chelsea. I've been in here 62 years and I've seen it all. Very good neighborhood. I wouldn't give it up for nothing. My first memory of Chelsea was as a little kid, I was on the subway. I was trying to get on the subway. When I was about five or six years old, I remember getting trapped in the train station. I'm trying to sneak under the turnstile gate. My foot got caught in the subway and it came out in the newspaper. That was a long time ago. I was trying to sneak on the train. I was a little kid. I wanted to go swimming to go to Leroy's pool downtown with my friends somewhere, and I didn't have the money to get on the train. Man, we used to go down there every day in the summer and have fun. Big time, the atmosphere was nice, the people was nice over there. They had a couple of neighborhood guys working there. It was a good place to be on a hot, sticky day. What I remember about the 1960s was a lot of tenement houses on this plot, and a lot of immigrants from all over emerging here and the Navy, they used to dock down here and they used to be the first ones to get priority for the housing. That's what I remember. Remember the hard times that the families went through, but the fun times also. What I remember about the docks, we used to have a lot of fun throwing stuff in the water, firecrackers, everything. We used to play around over there. We used to go swimming. We used to cause ruckus down there. I had a lot of fun over there. Mike Tinsley, Tommy, Patrick Tinsley. There was, there was so many of us. We used to sneak on the boats, you know, the ones that's parked there, not the ships. The ones that used to guide the ships there. I forgot what they call them, the tugboat. Yes. So we had ran off of them. The greatest adventure down there was being chased by a bum. They used to call them dynamite. Everybody used to go down there and look for dynamite just to get chased by him. The people back in the 60s was more peaceful and they got along better. A lot of different cultures was in the neighborhood. There was more of everybody. Proposed to now, where it's dominated by um, Asian people. People react to one another now like, everybody's like keeping to their self, or everybody wanna just go about their business. Before, there was more interaction with everybody, with the community center, across the street, and everybody seemed to get along better. Now there's a lot of racial tension for no reason at all. Everybody want to keep to themselves, you know, which is bad for the neighborhood. Everybody got along a lot better then than they do now. And that's what I loved about the neighborhood growing up as a kid. Yeah, what I got out of the Hudson Guild was a lot of structure in my life. That was my grooming place. I started out in the nursery. I went on to preschool. I attended all the after school programs, but that was my favorite place, being on the farm. The, the silence, the, the be by myself, and the, the lake. You couldn't beat it. And I eventually landed a job there and at their upstate country house. I worked for a few years. I really enjoyed my time at the Hudson Guild and his farm. I had so many funny memories. When I was, when I was 12 or 13 years old, I remember going on a bus up, up to um, Andover, New Jersey and attending the Hudson Guild festivities and I loved it. Then as I got older, I became a part of the staff. And we used to go there every September 
for a farm conference. I have fond memories of attending the Hudson Gill after school program and its nursery program. That's where I started my schooling. My mother worked there for over 30 something years and my classroom was right next to her so I had to be on my P's and Q's. So I remember Emma Johnson, Whippy's, Whippy and Clyde's mother. I remember the Tinsley family, good friends of mine. Mike, Tommy, Patrick, which is still with us. We had a lot of fun together growing up. Mike and Tommy were lifeguards at one time in Coney Island. And they, uh, they was both trained in the martial arts. Those are some of my childhood friends. One time I was hanging out with Mike all day. And that afternoon he had to go to work. And he came, he came up, I was sitting by the basketball court, smoking, and he came up. I said, oh, shit. He told me they assigned him here. And he actually took a couple of totes with me in uniform. And the Spanish lady came by, she couldn't believe it. She said, oh my God, she grabbed her head and just kept walking. I remember the mother used to take me and Whippy Goldberg to plays outside of the Hudson Guild. We did a couple of plays in the Hudson Guild together. I got fond memories of that. Antonio Fargas, he was there with us. And uh, I don't recall the fella's name. He used to be with uh, uh, Bill Cosby on the clip. I think his name is Robert Cliff. Uh, well, he was an actor. He used to come by and see us and give us tips on acting and everything. I got very good memories of the Hudson Guild. Until this day, I still utilize its services. I lived here all my life, actually from 1949. And the neighborhood is not a bad place. I've seen it, I've seen it all. I had my bad and I have my good times. My good times override my bad times. But more or less, I'm happy that I'm still here and the neighborhood has gotten better and getting better.